Welcome back to Headlander. This walkthrough will be for the battle chess area. There's lots of fancy lore in this area for you to find. When you play the game yourself. Really do. It's amazing. In this area, you have your traditional chess pieces. The pawn, the rook, the bishop, and the knight. The puzzles mostly involve matching the correct color and type of chess piece to download and upload data. There's the upload box, and data received. So behind that black door should be a zap pad down to the grid class area. You have to do five transfers like this in the battle arena, and then a special transfer later on. The real difficulty in this level is the slow elevators which appear everywhere. Keep on running out. There's a lot of folks here who want to watch the game. I don't much understand why. Uh, the first transfer we're going to do is for the black pawn. Pawns can only weakly punch. Uh, unless you have the roll upgrade, in which case you can just roll and kill everything, because rolling's OP. Now, get that body to the upload terminal in one piece. You will never develop little thoughts. Instead of doing any of the next four transfers, we're going to sneak into the white staging area and sort of backdoor in. We have to wait for the elevator boss, though. If you take too much damage, just try teleporting up and down and let your health regen kick in. So you go in here and there's a whole bunch of secret areas you can get. And even though the teleporters look color-coded, they're not protected like doors. There's a teleporter here for some reason. Repulse monkey. The second transfer we're gonna do is a Another black second. bishop. The bishop fires a two-way diagonal split beam, sort of like chess. Also, it rolls. You know, because rolling is great. You cannot hide on this field. Cloudhead, Cloud 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 horseman. Outside. It is doubtful any of you will ever challenge us. I hate you, Artie. Let's hope your endgame is better, little boy. On um, this lockdown, try to leave one of these bruisers with their body intact. No head, obviously. That way you can borrow it on your way back.
Look at this pawn trying to valiantly defend this transfer spot. We are warning you. We never did like the clergy. The next transfer is the White Rook we saved earlier. Rooks are just like bruisers. They don't really need to roll, but you can because it's still good. Y'all know what to do. We are not surprised by your actions, Rook. You always did prefer him. I challenged him. This area is a long gauntlet. It's the main reason I choose the upgrades I do. So hey, how are you doing? Post in the comments how you are doing right now. how you're doing right now. It's a long corridor. You won't miss anything. Y'all can make it through them double lasers if your bound shield can protect your face and boost at the same time. Where I'm from, we call that a covered wagon. The corridor gets a little bit more interesting if your book's body dies. You should be fine now. Make your way back to the main battle area. If you're lucky, a black rook will be somewhere around here. If not, you can find one by killing things or going back to the staging area. You need it for an upgrade over here. We judge them. We poor Time for the white pawn transfer. As you can see, I successfully beat the elevator boss. Best get moving. You are unworthy of our attention, but you cannot hide on this field. But failed the not falling off the ledge boss. The next transfer is the White Knight, knight shooting a weird L shape. In my experience, you don't need to bring a knight with you to this room, one will spawn. If you fall in that hole, there's just a black rook.
If you thought there were a lot of elevators in this area... The next area is... So many elevators. Y'all got the data. We're almost done. <laughs> We'd expect better from one who has been knighted. Color accepted. You will never develop little cords. Hands from the You will never develop little cords. There's many ways you can do this room. It's kind of cool to shoot the splitter thing. Lockdown is over, and we are surprised that you have survived. You can't actually access that upgrade yet, so I just blow off the cover. Forfeit now, and we will let you walk away. Soon, don't worry. And now it's time to make your way to the Black King. Whenever the elevator boss decides to let you. Super deadly and mostly invincible. Their beam splits pretty fractally, and they can bend over and get through doors really easily. But the king can't roll, so not really that good. Coming up is an amazing cutscene. It is doubtful any of you will ever challenge us. Now, take him on over and dock him into the transmission machine. I have the advantage, Queen. The game is mine. I got the data, but I think y'all. You are warned. Checkmate! <laughs> You shall not escape us that way, little pawn. Well, she. We are no mere automaton. We are the best there ever was. We broke the game as we perfected the play of it. As we shall break you in the most perfect way. This is your end game. The strategy here is to just hit the splitter. That's all. Try to manage your gun energy level so you don't uh, have to wait for it to recharge. Here in the second phase, you should switch colors and teleport up. And again, hit the splitter when it's up. And when it's not up, take a couple pot shots, but make sure to manage your energy levels so you can just dump your gun out when the splitter is up. Oh, 
It's the same strategy for this part. You just have to take a different angle because you're a bishop instead of a knight. If you're having trouble because you don't have all the upgrades I have, try sticking to the bottom so you can switch bodies rapidly. Or just watch the other parts of the walkthrough and get all the upgrades I have. Shameless plug. For the last phase of this fight, you have to reflect the lasers back at her. Only the white laser, obviously. It's always the same pattern. Bottom right, top left, top right, bottom left. It's also a good idea to kill the other shepherds between cycles, as they like to push you around and mess up your angles. She has like one health here, I'm so disappointed. I wanna be the very best like no one ever was. Oh my. Hold on, they're on our side. Best go with them before this whole place heats up. Who are these mysterious soldiers with their mysterious eye and number 13 on their belts? Find out later. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please consider pressing the subscribe button.